if you want to work on vehicles and build stuff, I highly recommend learning from my mistakes. Don't get a house where the driveway's a steep hill. As you can see, there's quite an angle from where my shock mounts to my axle and where it mounts to the frame. Um, when I measured it out, I, I guess in my head where it was at was a little bit further, but now that everything's kind of set up and sitting here, I'm not super happy with the positioning of that. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this cross member since the shock mounts are already uh, welded to it and they're, they're really where I want them to be lined up and stuff. And I'm literally just going to move this cross member forward. Uh, I was talking to a guy online, posting pictures of my trailer progress, and, and he was like, hey, like, you know, you, you want to make sure that these are going to actually reach compression and stuff and be at a better angle and help me out with that. So I'm going to make those corrections. Um, but that'll also kind of even out the gap um, so that there's not like this short gap here, big gap here, and then a small gap up there. It'll kind of kind of balance it out a little bit there. So... This is where the cross members were when I moved them. About like what would that be? Maybe about four inches. I mean, if you look from this side to this side, it's like an inch and a half. But I flipped the cross members as well as moving them forward. That way, the shock tabs, uh, or the shocks, aren't at such a shallow angle. They're more of a, a, a steeper angle, so they're going to get more use out of them. Um, these shocks are uh, longer than they should be for for what I'm building. So eventually when these go bad, because they will need to eventually be replaced, then I'll replace them with the proper length shock tabs, or shocks. Um, but these shocks came with the suspension kit that I got. So I'm just, I'm going to use them. But uh, I, re I, removed the, I removed the axle from the hangers because I need to, on these U-bolts, cut these U-bolts down. A um, couple reasons. One, I don't want to have to wrench on these for so long to get them off because it's really fine thread so it takes forever to get those off um, but also uh, with it being an oversprung and the u-bolts facing up uh, there's not a whole lot of space right if you look at the parallel here before these will smash up into the frame so i want to just kind of lower those down a bit and then you know as the axle pushes up on your articulation um, there's, there's, it's, it might still hit the frame, that's fine, but it's not going to hit it as soon. Um, really what I should do is I should get some sort of urethane bump stop that I put on the frame or something like that, and maybe something to add to it later, but I need to kind of, I don't know, not top of my priority list right now. So, I'm going to, um, remove these U-bolts, I'm going to mark them and remove them, and I'm going to 
uh, cut them down to length. And then, as you can see there, I have the rest of my steel um, that I'm going to need to build the rest of it. I have a little bit of change in plans here. Uh, I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to make this into a, a sealed box, right? And uh, I've kind of just decided that I'm not going to do it because then I'd have to make access doors and stuff, and I just don't really have the the means to do that. Um, it's, it's something I do want to do, but I just don't see... It's, it's just going to create so much extra work. And we're already into July, and I'm still just working on the frame of this little project. So, And I'm just going to build... It's still going to be kind of tall, but I'm just going to build walls off the top of the frame. And I'm going to put the sheet metal on the inside of the wall so you can kind of see the skeleton of it. Just That's kind of more aesthetic. I like the way that looks. I got this diamond plate right here. That'll be the floor. And then all of this work will be... This was supposed to be the, the, the roof the top but since i'm not gonna be building a top for it i don't know this this will get used for something i don't know um but uh but these will be the walls right here and then Gotta go get more. Another U bolt. Probably grab a couple just in case. Hurt that much. This one came out no problem, but that one, uh, everything just got gnarled up, so I just threw it in the trash. All right. Um, kind of a mixture of two things. I didn't record me putting the axle back on. Uh, new U bolts. These ones are already shorter. I tried to cut up the U bolts and trashed it, but I got these new ones. They're a little bit shorter, um, so that'll be good right there. I'll leave those just how they are. <clears throat> Got those for both sides. Remounted the axle. There's the shocks. So you can kind of see that the shocks are actually at like a, a steeper angle now. So they'll actually do a little bit more good on there. Still need to tighten all these bolts down. Um, but it's mounted back up there and getting there ready. Um, it's very hot and very humid. And uh, that's my form of air conditioning for the garage. So I'm gonna take a break and cool off for a little bit. And I'll come in here and mount these tires and roll it out of the garage. spacers to get the tires out away from the frame. I had to say that uh, I was concerned that they were too big, too wide. Now that they're on there, I'm seeing the gap between the sidewall and the frame of the trailer. It's definitely going to clear all these little bolt heads sticking out. I'm pretty happy with that. Trailer. 
it's almost an entirely useless trailer as it sits, but I built a trailer. <laughs> okay, sweating like crazy. Like I said, it's hot out here. Um, <clears throat> so there it is. Oh man. Okay, so now I'm gonna go turn my Jeep around and then I'm gonna roll this down there and we're gonna see when it's level with the Jeep, how this lines up with the uh, hitch receiver on the Jeep. That way I can order my coupler that's gonna go in between the two and then we can move on to the next step and I'm gonna wait on the wiring. I was planning to start the wiring and that's what this video was gonna be about but because I'm kind of changing up my design at the trailer um, kind of late, but I already put the holes for the tail lights, and I haven't made my mind up yet, but I don't know if I'm gonna put the tail lights there because wiring through a bumper is just gonna be an absolute pain. So I don't know. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna build the rest of the body, and then I'll do the wiring. The wiring won't. Wiring while tedious isn't difficult for now. I'm gonna go move that Jeep. And I'm gonna celebrate a little bit that I got to this point that I've that I've built a trailer. Started out as a bunch of a bunch of metal. And now it's a bunch of metal with wheels. see how it lines up to the back of the Jeep so I can order the coupler for it that'll connect the two. Watch out for you ahead. Keep going. Head down, head down. Head down, head down, head down. Good job. Thumbs up. Yay, look at mama. If you want to work on vehicles and build stuff, I highly recommend learning from my mistake. Don't get a house where the driveway is a steep hill. So that's where I'm going to stop for the night. And uh, that's also where I'm going to end this video. Um, I don't want to move on. I mean, the next part's going to be building up the body, like the, the box. I don't want to kind of move on to the next step because I want that to be its own video. Um, so frame's complete, axis complete, everything's mounted, um, and uh, it's on its own wheels. So made some good progress once again. Thanks for watching. Um, if you're still hanging in there. I know it's been a lot of videos just about the frame and building the frame, but that really is, I feel like, the biggest part of this because the the frame is definitely the the most important part of this i mean everything else is built off of that literally so yeah so now i already lined it up with the jeep and now it's time to order the coupler that's going to go between this and the jeep and then also um uh doing the wiring and stuff like that i'm probably going to do the wiring last so that everything is in its place and it's good to go and then paint it up so yeah this is, this is good progress so we're ready to move on to the next step